What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are here at the entrance of the Lost Woods, which is about here if you're curious. Not that far from where we just were. And uh, I have this because I need a torch at one point and that's kind of like a torch. And we're just going to jump right in. And oh, of course it's nighttime, so I got these things attacking me. Get away from me. I don't even want to bother. They're actually... Ooh, thanks for the free arrow. It's kind of annoying because the embers guide you. And I don't believe I need it yet. Also, apparently... I'm supposed to be on the lookout for something in here with the DLC. I think... It, is it Majora's Mask? I think I can find that in here. Maybe it's a Korok Mask. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. But there is some useful equipment in here. But I don't 100% know where it is. I also didn't activate a quest for it. So, we're not doing that right now. I'm just gonna follow along with these. I'm gonna mess this up a dozen times. Wait a second. Where are you sending me? Uh, oh, there's a thing there. Okay. And I believe here is where I need to light my own torch. So, um, I need a different, there's a chest in here. Forest Dweller and Spear, okay. I think that'll do better. For some reason, this isn't doing what it's supposed to do. So, uh, goodbye. Take this instead. All right, now where am I supposed to be going? That's a creepy smiling tree. There are no embers coming off this thing, by the way. That's the wrong... Uh, okay, I saved myself. That's the wrong way. Do they want me to go this way? Nope, it does not. Uh, that's a wall right there. Okay, I can see that. All right, put the thing away. It's not helping. Oh, there's an actual torch. Does this work? Oh, God, it's on fire and so is the torch. There are the embers. That way. No, okay, we're going the right way. Now we're going this way. Alright. Can't dilly-dally too long, though, because eventually we're going to run out. That way, okay. This... That doesn't look like the right way, but it says it is. That way... I'm gonna, like, clench this whole time. I'm gonna feel like we're going the wrong way. Shrine nearby. That's kind of helpful, actually. Keep going this way. I think we're real close. Is this it right here? Yeah, alright, this is it. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was. And, uh... Do I need these for my compendium? I sure... Whatever. That counts. Alright, and, uh... Here we are, eventually. we got to go through a little bit more. And I'm very excited for this now, because I can talk to Hestu again. Because I found him out in the, um, what's it called? In the stables. 
And even then, like, he has a max on how many times you can upgrade, so... I needed to come here to find him. But luckily he remembered his way back. Oh my god, the bog down. And there it is. The Master Sword. But first... Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. All right, so yeah, <laughs> you must use your true uh, true strength if you want to pull the Master Sword out, which is cool and all. And I love that it's just off over here. You can you should get it. It's very helpful. But if you don't, it's cool. Now, what I'm going to do though, we are going to be able to pull the sword. I've got enough hearts, but uh, I'm gonna need a wardrobe change real quick. All right, this is appropriate attire for pulling out the Master Sword. Let's go. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? Master Sword, I 
heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. All right, we have the Master Sword. Now, what's useful about it is the fact it's a weapon, it does break, quote unquote, but it recharges. So it just loses its power. You have to wait a few minutes in order to use it again. More importantly, it is a 30 power weapon, but against any of the Ganons, Thunderblight, all that stuff, it does double up to a 60 power sword. And if we do the trial of the sword, it will get even more powerful, but that's not happening today. Yeah, so it's important for us to have it against the Blights. Now, the last thing you're going to see in this playthrough will be defeating Ganon. We will go through, I'll do the Champion's Battle of DLC. I don't know that I can complete the Trial of the Sword, but I will give it my damnedest try. And we'll do all that so that we have the best equipment possible, everything like that, before we take on Ganondorf. Because maxing out the Master Sword... I understand the point of the challenge, but it's pointless when you've already beaten the game. Alright, now that we have the Master Sword, and that didn't take nearly as much episode time as I thought it would. I know we could do a couple things here, but what we're actually going to do... We're going to the desert. We already got one piece of useful equipment. Let's get some more. I'm not 100% sure what just happened. I just came over to the shrine... You're now ready to test the limits of your courage. Um. Oh, this is just telling me about the trial of the sword. All right, cool. I just, I wanted to come over here as a fast travel spot, and it's not even the, the right fast travel spot. I gotta move again. All right, made my way over to this stable. This is on the path to Gerudo Town. We got a couple interesting characters. This guy... Really wants rush rooms in order to climb. If you bring him, I think it's like 55 of them or something like that, he gives you a diamond. Which is not worth the hassle of collecting all the rush rooms. I think I have like maybe seven now. And this guy wants a horse. We are right in front of the stable. But as much as I make fun of him, you're not getting Bob. We will, however, take out a horse. 
I'm actually gonna take Buttons. My daughter is the one who named this one. She said I had to get this horse. She claims it's pink. I'll let you be the judge. I, it's got a pink nose. I don't know, whatever. So we're gonna make our way over to Gerudo because it, this is gonna be the last of the Divine Beasts we take on, but this is where the final Great Fairy is located. And there's some shrines over here, and I want to get to all that stuff. And, okay, I guess this is as far as I can take you anyways, Buttons. But I need to get over here, because there's going to be a cutscene triggering. Because, as you can see, the giant camel in the distance. I think we have to get to this place before it triggers. But it's going to get hot here, and you can't just wear the Goron armor. I tried that. But it's a different kind of heat. So we're going to make our way over to this place. I've already gotten a couple of the fruits you find around here. Like I was saying earlier, when I was trying to upgrade my equipment, you need warm Safina in order to upgrade the, um, the snow quill armor. And that, the easiest place to find is in the desert. I spent hours looking for it. Other places couldn't find it. Eventually found my way over here. And uh, I had to go out during the night, but I got enough warm Safina to be sure. I still got a bunch of extra. And it, I had to wait for night. I had to hide in the shade until nightfall because it was too hot and I had no way to get through. Oh, cool. Some more arrows, but I just bought Beetle out. So I've already got like 100. Now it's 134 I got now. So we're going to make our way over here into the oasis. Here's the cutscene. And now it's going to show us that camel is over there. And also in this general area is where the fourth great fairy fountain is. There's also one or two shrines hidden in all this sand. I unlocked one of them. I have not gone back to beat it. I believe it's a major test of strength, which doesn't scare me as much. But when you're in the desert, your map scrambles and you can't get back out. I found that one the hard way. <laughs> I went down, I'm like, oh, a shrine. And then I literally spent the next 45 minutes trying to get out of the desert. So right now we're going to let you do your thing. Yep, you're going to be the last one. It's... I hate this shrine, or the, the Divine Beast. This one made me think I hated all the dungeons in this game, because this one is so tedious. But we're going to save it for last, because it's the least useful one to me, out of, uh, like, exploring the wild area. Also, Beetle's already over here. We just saw you at the other... Okay, cool. Oh, and while we're here, I guess we'll do a memory. I got a couple marked on the map, but... Might as well do a memory. Alright, so I only did that one because it's, it's right here. What I will do, because there's... What are we at? Three memories now? Uh, there's nine more, plus a ten hidden one. Um, I will do those in like one video. I'll do like a half episode where we just gather things. You're a side mission. I'm not talking to you right now. You're not the focus. 
So what I'm going to do, and also uh, remember her for later. We'll come back for you. But we're going to make our way to the town. We've got to eat some uh, hydro melons or whatever. Those I managed to pick up before because the heat's about to jump up. And it's not like a lava heat. It's just like a desert heat. So we got to make our way over here and then we're going to go back. And unfortunately, we can't just teleport back that way. Because I don't have the thing to teleport yet. But these are what we need. Oh no, these are volt fruit. These are useful too. Hello, hello camel. It's right there. But if you shoot these down, you gotta angle it right. I found this out like the third or fourth time. Get the arrow first, then the volt fruit. Because if you pick up the volt fruit, you lose the arrow. I don't know why I don't just pick up both. We're gonna make our way across the desert. Oh, wait, we might luck out because it's nighttime. We might be able to just clear right across here without the heat getting to us. But we're going to make our way across. We'll be able to grab that shrine right in front of us as a fast travel point. And then we have to go back to the oasis. And we'll be able to get the Gerudo outfit, which will allow us to get into the town. And then I won't actually use it for that. I'll just use it so I can explore around the desert. Arrow, Volt Fruit. I oh, God. And those are the reason why I got the rubber armor to max it out. Okay, cool. I don't want to mess with you. I'm just going to run. Yeah, that guy over there just got the right idea, too. It's starting to get a little hot now. But it is almost nighttime. Where'd that arrow go? I'm always greedy with them arrows. What do I got now? Ow. I only got 135. Get away from me. All right, I'll use one. I think I need these key swings to upgrade the uh, the armor anyways. And now it just got cold. Thought I had... No, I didn't put these on. Wear that. That'll keep me cold. Or it'll keep me warm. I spent so much time... So a lot of the shrines I did were like the Gerudo Highlands. Where I'm not going to go for the storyline. I think there's one thing there, but that's it. That's the only thing I have to go for is one small mission. But the Gerudo Highlands, you got down here in uh, Lake Hylia. You've got like the jungle uh, rainforest area. These are not essential for the story. So anything I did for exploring, you know, I went up here too. This is where the White Lionel is. Places that I don't have to go to, that's where I was focusing on first. But now I'll be able to knock out all the shrines because I've activated the storyline for here. Now, first I'm going to activate this real quick. Obviously, we're not going in. And then I'll talk to this guy who is a pervert and he wants to try and get in. What info? Okay. Cool. However, a man that slipped into this well-guarded town, back at the Karakara Bazaar, not the Oasis. You know what it's called. So we're going to go back that way. And uh, we're going to talk to someone to get some equipment. All right, here we are back at the Bazaar. And we're going to climb to the top of this building. Luckily, there's a ladder. I think between episodes, I'm going to get some more wood because I think we need her next for uh, for Hudson's little village there for Terrytown. Climb all the way up to the top. It is so nice just being able to jump and not have to worry about stamina. And here is the person we need to talk to. Who is apparently not a man. Sorry, I can be more help. Study your face. You're very beautiful. Uh, okay, how much do you want? 600. Yeah, see, this is why I'm glad I have money. Still got plenty left now. But now, we're pretty. You look adorable. You make for quite good looking gal. I mean, 
I don't know. I kind of wanted a female Link. I thought that's where we were going to go with when they first announced Breath of the Wild. I guess I'll take this. Oh, you can see the gray beard from this angle. Make sure you watch out for the wind. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Alright, but I don't want to. Now, the upside with this outfit, it is going to keep us completely protected from the desert heat. I don't know why we can't just get naked and be protected from it, but that's what this does. So now, during the day, I can explore around wherever I want during the, in the uh, desert. Over here somewhere. You can see it now, but once you go over there... That scrambles your map. That's why I haven't really messed around over there. And this way, I believe, is where we're going to go for a storyline mission. But I've already got it marked on the map. We're headed... Oh, no, that's not it. Well, it's kind of it. We're going to go here, where the skull is. Also, most of the towers that I beat basically came down to climb to the highest point and jump to the top. Because that one is a bottomless pit at the bottom. But I managed to do it. The ones left, I'm going to use Revale's Gale to jump up to the top, like this one here. One of them is guarded by Tar. One of them... Uh, why, why can't I get to the other one? I don't remember the other one. And then the one over in Akala is guarded by, like, seven Guardians. And I didn't feel like messing with that right now. Because the flying ones are a pain. But I believe this is a good place to wrap up the episode. Next time, we're actually going to go back to the first Divine Beast we tried to take out, and we're going to finish it. This way we can get Rivali's Gale. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.